What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off up on last time, uh, things have been going extremely well and we are just going to finally destroy this uh, Austrian rebel army that formed near Vienna. And we have to fight it manually otherwise all these other armies will take attrition, which I do not want. So let's go take him out. So we've already fought them once. Um, but it should be a bit of a formality to fight them again. And we are also building up our forces to strengthen the Russian front after an, um, after a significantly important battle near uh, well, at the city of Ayasi in Moldavia, which my force, just about through the skin of its teeth, held on to from, uh, <laughs> from three Russian armies. Okay, deploy the howitzers. We're going to get a bunch of reinforcements, but it's not really needed because it's all just militiamen anyway. There we go. And where's my pikemen? So more than happy to just charge up just because uh well militia militia carabiners fusineers dot reg dot linear not a fan of the pink yeah you better pull back because some of you are about to go toe to toe with a unit of with an army of swiss guardsmen more than happy just to let my reinforcements trot in just because there's no point here we go now we're in The, the kind of the, the, the knockout punch is not only have we got a really good line to fight, but we've also got these pew pew Jaegers. <laughs> I might just stop my howitzer from firing at all now, it's just completely unnecessary. Yeah, there goes the militia. Are my Jaeger's gonna get hit. Yeah, they are. By my general. Yeah, there they go. Continue, but halt fire in a lot of respects. No point chasing the general down. Okay, just charge in. Because I don't think I don't think we'll need to utterly destroy them in this battle, just because they're already so low. They're already very depleted. So I think uh, a near thrashing will be enough to knock them out. Come on, there's only two guys left. There's only one of them there. Oh, there they go. They're both down. See, it's the generals that are doing all the mopping up. There we go. So it's a good old-fashioned hunt with the hounds. There we go. So there goes the Austrian Avanti. rebels. Now Austria as a territory is ours. And this force... Altri ordini. You are going somewhere, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're going to join this guy. So you're getting two more skirmishes. 
two more marines so you can have five more units of line infantry good stuff one two three four five at some point we have to crack the bavarians but we've got yeah we have troops over to the east so Nino Boscovich is going to intercept Yuri Lyfakus. He's got a big reinforcing stack near him. This is the army that got absolutely thrashed not that long ago. And is desperately seeking reinforcements. I ask he could fortify. Just a second, everyone. There we go. Good old sneeze. Right. So we've got a good amount of troops near the Russian front. Your, your army is growing. This force here in the city is expanding. You've also got this force that's going to march along the North African coast to be building oh no global trading company there's a bit of a bad idea well I can upgrade these ports here that do currently provide a good amount of wealth to us so you're out of range of the remnants of the Mughal forces but that's okay you're replenishing you are a general I don't think there's much else to do you're replenishing let's put a sloop okay let's hit end turn there we go our agents are on the move oh that um ottoman stack in uh, spain i forgot about them that would have been useful to to destroy them because then that th that frees up Ooh, you demand trade do you I mean, we'll take it. I could pay some money for trade. Ha, don't worry, Ultimate Agents. You're not long for this world. Your faction will die and be replaced by a greater Catholic Empire. <laughs> That's why I run around the those mountains. Here come more Russian troops. It might be worth landing on north, the northern uh, edge of the Russian Empire, because it looks like they don't want to make battle. It looks like they do want to just raid. Whatever the hell that noise was. That pop. Yeah, the Mughals are going to go raiding, but th that's their prerogative because they are the the dominant power in the Americas, at least for now. Catholic missionary in Romelia. Well, let's get you into Istanbul and then hop over... Actually, no, you probably are better off pushing up into Russian territory. Trade route raided. Yeah, got some enemy raids. Ports are being blockaded. Naval Not College in Istanbul. Now. Let's keep. It's being upgraded. Let's upgrade the roads. Oh, the, Sofia and Ro the roads in Bulgaria are being upgraded. You're in pretty good shape. This army they got thrashed is now nearly back up to full strength. So if they want to push in this direction, we can intercept them. Question 
question is, do you march up, break the university, put Warsaw under siege? Let's get on the offensive. Let's march you guys up as a reinforcement. There's reinforcements for them. We could probably take Mr. Torricelli and attack the city of... I can't, I can't pronounce that. Uh... <laughs> It's definitely not Presburg, but that's how it reads to me in my anglicised tongue, because I don't know what sound that interesting B makes. Unless it's an S. So let's check out the tech. But right now we've got almost all the tech we can dream of. Too bad about all these Ottoman mercenaries here ottoman agents because it is slowing our what well, it is inhibiting our conversion of athens of uh, vienna to catholicism yeah, this region is 100 percent islam because they've got a lot of priests keeping hungary islamic Let's upgrade some of our industrial techs and then let's probably take Solo you pump. and go. Let's just go capture Hungary. Because right now we need... Well, right now we need uh, to keep the momentum going. I think I would like to deploy an army from Sweden down to Konigsberg, probably. Just to hit the Russians in the flank. Or from the northern flank. So right now they're, they're drop, deploying lots of troops to the southeast. Okay. So these guys are going to use round shot to knock down the wall. All of these guys are going to be hidden in the woods. And they are all hidden except for this unit. There we go. Four good units of infantry to attack and attack and secure any breaches. We've got another howitzer unit that I nearly missed. Two cavalry units that can go in as well. So let's make one of them hit troops with round sh with can it with a quick climb. Ah, they're not in quick climb range. Well, they are for that unit. Holy hell! There we go. So, a lot of troops in the centre. Let's speed up time because right now we are just making a hole in the wall. Which is as far as tactics and strategy goes, fairly simple. Especially when these artillery seem to be great at missing, but then I suppose that's the advantage of field artillery is that more horizontal tra trajectory means that they're much less likely to miss rather than dropping down and hitting a target that looks just that size. Don't worry, once we've got a breach, we're probably not going to be that long. Well, it's not going to be. Well, it won't be very long before we assault. Chiefly because most of their units are quite depleted and of substance, substandard quality. And you guys focus on hitting that unit. And th this unit can then break out. The unit pushing up march up Actually, all of you guys really work on that breach because it would be useful if you could try and knock it down and trap all these units quick climb would be even more useful but you're all out, out of range for that Let's 
try and take down. Let's try and take down the wall and trap them for good. To be honest, it looks like they could do it. Ah, oh, no, they finally twigged. Bosnian pan panduks. Pretty good. I suppose those. Are, I, think, I guess those are supposed to be feathers, but they look more like uh, wheat to me. Actually, no, you guys hold back here as well. Okay, you guys run, because it looks like they're going to pour out of the breach into us. You guys need to drop into square, because their cavalry is about to come pouring out. You guys hunker down as well. Damn, we're not going to get them. We're not going to get the Israeli unit killed by falling masonry. It looks like, though, they are going to try and push out. So this unit could stay in square just as a bit of a bulwark. Unit run up to the gate. You don't fire at will. You guys deploy square. Ooh, okay, let's stop. Stop our artillery, lest our artillery kills us. It's definitely making us waver. It did kill a bunch of us. Gatehouse is ours. Storm the infantry in. <laughs> There's just an absolute mess of men everywhere. You guys charge down the steps. Let's run some infantry units through this, these infantrymen, because we don't need to... Uh, Fight everyone. Yeah, some of these units need to just break away. Critical. One of these units. Well, you try and jump into square if you can. You get into the command HQ. You form a position here. You try and pull off in this direction to try and engage them in some fire by rank. 
you keep killing these Ottomans here. Okay, you guys might need to think of a better position than this. You guys get back. You guys attack those Samet Janissaries. Bring up my general. To hold off. You're going to hold off their cavalry formations. You guys need to push around and hit their howitzers because they might knock down this command HQ, which is actually quite important for us. Charge the Israeli. You guys need to charge those Israeli. These Marines need to get down off the wall. You guys need to realistically get out of squares and just engage the enemy. These marines need to get over here. You men need to get off the wall and help reinforce wherever the worst units wherever the worst fights fights are we're still trying to push through the gate the muslim say they're winning let's try and nullify this garrison order i'll do some damage over here we're holding on. Let's run this unit through the gap. Let's get my cavalry in as well. I forgot all about them. Actually, let's try charge into the back of these Seminis. So if we break them... Okay, who's not actually fighting? Okay, you guys can get out of here then. If you're not actually, not actually involved in killing he's Israeli then you can go and fight someone else maybe those armed populist units it's probably better actually to charge these Israeli because they are winning notionally Nice to kill their general. No, maybe not kill our general. Try get these guys up onto the wall to reinforce troops charging down the hill or down the down off the wall. You guys surround the garrison. General's bodyguard. Get around here if you like. You guys go hit that armed populace unit. <laughs> well, first of all, we need to get in here in decent numbers.
before I charge you in. Because we've got a guard unit deck there that's... Oh my god, I did not even know that's what colour the, their uh, uniforms was. That is striking. Okay, one of these units just go... Hunker down on the central square. Drop into square formation. Let everyone else massacre this Israeli unit that seems to be holding on very well. Grenadiers. There we go. We've turned the tide here with our cavalry on the floor. To be honest, my general hunker down, or can hunker down. These Israeli are holding on. Oh, they've they've broken. Push on. So these men that are holding the city, are holding the gap, they've broken. It's these Muslim on the on the steps that are holding, but now they're dying in droves. There we go. Their morale, their resolve has finally broken. And that was quite a quite a bloodier battle than uh, I expected. <laughs> but still. They have fallen. The city is ours. So we can replenish. And then Mario Torricelli, you guys have got some rebuilding to do. You can build a church school. And then you can build industry. Let us make this region profitable once more. I mean, I don't think it's gonna, the church school is going to do much good against all these priests. But it'll do something. Actually, I think I might build one happiness building just to offset the almost permanent religious unrest. Ah, you're an Eastern scholar. You're not going to find any technologies and so on here. I think, realistically, the only way to completely remove the Ottoman presence is just to destroy them, I think. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. They are trapped. That also means... Actually, let's pick up... Two infantry units to, t to block up those ports. And that also means this guy... Could probably... Embark. Signore. We'll probably go land off of Cairo. Here yeah, they've got a navy. Let's just deposit them off the coast. You men shuttle back here. You guys, now that army's freed up, I'm actually going to do this. Then you can go raid the global trading company. You can build an, a couple more fourth rates. How goes our navy over here? Okay, we've got some third rates. Let's get some second rates and a first rate ship of the line. Good stuff. Cairo is now a Catholic city. Oh, I don't have any. Is my agents not working Jerusalem? That's a shame. 
Still, I've got two of them working Ankara. We will do. Oh no, sorry, you're going up to the Russian front, aren't you? Um, but this force, under Nino Boscovich, probably needs to march south to go hit Yuri Lofakas, who is incredibly, deple incredibly depleted, but this is likely, well this is the army, the remnants of the force that we destroyed um, up here at Iasi. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for hopefully another destructive battle against the Russians. Cheers everyone.